Hey guys, we are back again for part 2.7 of offsite manufacturing industrial automation about how to set up your Siemens S7-1200. That's your PLC programmable logic controller. Particularly, we are going to emphasize on an example for conveyor belt systems. So in this part, part 2.7, it is an introduction for TIA portal and what you can expect to receive uh, after watching this video is that we are first going to talk about downloading and installing TIA portal. What is TIA portal basically? Assigning IP and firmware for configuration purposes and what you will see, I'm probably going to panic out the first time you're powering up your S7-1200 and what you should see. So there are some modifications and installation um, instruction that you have to follow in order to get to that point where you can actually download your ladder logic download your program to the plc and expect to see the outcome what you need to see um so tier portal is standing for totally integrated automation portal is an integrated software platform developed by Siemens for configuring and programming various automated devices, such as PLCs, human machine interfaces, or HMIs, and other industrial control systems. That is a platform, this is your programming flag platform, uh, that you would draw all your ladder logics. Ladder logic is, um, just Google it, I'm probably going to not, not to explain it. Um, but it's a really simple programming language. You would say if sensor one is triggered, what should be done? Like let's say on a conveyor belt, if the sensor one has triggered an object in front of it, then you want the conveyor to stop and the robotic arm to pick up the object and place it somewhere else. As soon as the object is removed from the sensor, then you want the motor to start rotating again. So that's how you would uh, program a ladder logic. There are more details you can find online. Um, but for this sake of this video, we're just going to focus on downloading and installing the TIA portal plus configuring a few basic elements on the TIA portal so that you would be ready to go with the next step. Um, this is not a free software, the TIA portal. You would need some licensing for it if you are really into automation just send us an email to carrier at iconsmat.com.au you'll find the description in the caption section below for the email then our help then our technical team can help you download and install it they may ask you for some fees i'm not sure how the pricing is at the moment but bear that in okay so assuming that you have downloaded the TIA portal and if you haven't, if you don't know where to install it, uh, put a description somewhere in the caption below. You can email us and one of our staff will be in contact with you for your um, Siemens TIA portal license. Um, there are some licensing fees associated with this software so just bear that in mind that you may be able, you may be asked to pay something for the licensing. It's not a free software, um, but it's pretty useful, especially if you're thinking about um, automating some of the manual processes in your daily tasks in construction. Anyways, so once you've installed the Siemens um, TIA portal, now we have version 19 installed on this system, then you want to make sure that um the ip address is actually compatible with this because there are two devices one of them is the s7 1200 and the pc being connected through the profinet cable and you want to make sure that these two are communicating through the same channel so just to scroll down here on the left hand side on the online access choose the profi profinet that has all the um, 
connected devices there, so my device is currently off. Just gotta make sure that your PLC is connected to the power. In terms of powering, um, there is another video separately uploaded, the previous episode, you can find it. So I'll click on the update accessible devices, then you can find out here what sort of IP address is assigned to your PLC. Um, I'm just going to expand that. And you see here online and diagnostics, you have also the program block where you would um, draw your ladder logics here as well in the main OB1 tab but for now we are just going to explore um, the online diagnostic tab So here you see program block main OB1 would show you this ladder logic here on the online and diagnostics you will find your the version of your the firmware of your PLC as so it's essentially important to know um, especially if it's the first time you're powering up your PLC you want to make sure that the right firmware is installed on the PLC otherwise all the lights will turn on. It actually happens a lot um, it's just a quick note if you are powering up your PLC and it's a br brand new PLC here on the right hand side you can see the um, status LD LEDs if you have an error light blinking means that there is a firmware error or it's a, if it's a maintenance light constantly on continuously on means that you're probably going to have to reset the PLC and how the way that you can do that is to just click on the functions here and reset to factory setting click on that and follow the prompts you will be able to um, reset your PLC and then all the lights should turn off um, if that's the first time you're powering up your PLC otherwise um, you must get a light LED as it's here run stop um, which shows that the connection is healthy the program is healthy it's all good to go and uh, it's how it should be otherwise if there are any other lights on you should be suspicious about some of the things that might be not going well um, you can assign the IP address here I've assigned this number 192.168.02 and what else I'm going to just click simply on assign IP address the other thing that I can tell you especially about um, running the PLC for the first time is that once your program is ready so let's move on to the main OB once you draw your program the ladder logic so here we have a normally open that's assigned to input 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0 and we have an output of 0, 0.0 so we want to say if input 0, 0, 0, 0 is open then output 0, 0 must be triggered you have to first compile the program then download it to the device to the um, PLC I've already done that it's as you can see here down in the prompt um, it also has the ticks and everything but may have some I'll show you a bit of a history here where I found a few errors so, so for example it says certificates that are 
not part of the global search if we will remove these are some of the prompts you may get and um, if there are any errors in the program the lab logic itself it will tell you here it's a pretty useful message box you can actually click on them it, uh, it tells you where to go to solve it. it tells you what the problem can be on the Siemens website um, like one of the problems I've encountered that I was just mistakenly touched one of the um, ladder logic elements and it created an open circuit or when I was compiling it it told me it told me that um, there's an open circuit there I'll just remove it and I'll just remove that and the compilation turned out to be okay then I could successfully download it to the device um, if you had any questions just send us an email comment below there is a comment section below you can comment actually it's much faster way the, than emailing but if you have any special inquiries about running an automated system and you want to explain send us some documents then email in the description is the best way to go ahead with um, so in the next episode so far what we have covered is the power require power and tension requirements for conveyor belts then just the episode before this episode we have um, run through the wiring and powering up the PLC module I am going to show you some pictures as well after this um, screen recording as to what you can expect to see when it's the first time you're powering up your PLC and how it should look like after that um, after you reset the PLC and download the right firmware and into the PLC module so what do you see first time probably because so many things can change throughout the time by this day when I tried to first time plug in the S7 1200 ACDC relay module with the specific version 4.5.2 I've encountered all the lights turned on panicked out because the voltage was okay the current was okay but suddenly I've seen so many lights turned on I don't panic out because that's a normal thing to see a fresh brand new PLC Siemens S7-1200 having all the lights on especially the first time it is being powered on because it doesn't have any programs in it and uh, spend a quite long time to find out what the problem is with all the lights turning on um, so you, you have three status LEDs on your actual device the left far left one is the stop run um, LED the second one is the error LED the third one on the right hand side is the maintenance LED and um, on the Siemens website I found this table which was pretty useful for me in my case uh, I had the stop stop run constantly and continually showing a green light which was how it should be it was running um and the error light the red light was flashing so there was some sort of error i didn't know what it is but as soon as the tr portal was turned on i could diagnose and troubleshoot what the error is pointing out so it turned out for my case that the firmware i was downloading into the plc was not compatible with um the actual physical module in the system I had to lower down the version of my PLC one step back and then from there everything turned out to be okay um, so yeah that's pretty much it for this video next video we will be probably going to connect the sensors and the lights plus the actual ladder logic programming and that will be the end of this video series as for our example to run a conveyor system automated conveyor system you can expand that in any other forms that you want as long as you would know how to um, as long as you would know the automation basics